Hey guys, how you doing? This is Paul from Paul's Cards here. I just got this crate engine. Um, this is a three inch bore uh, Tillotson block that we uh, bought and sleeved. Nice, real nice build. This is going to uh, uh, Chester Mike Porman. And uh, real nice customer. Um, basically said, just build it how I'd want it. So I built it how I'd take it. Um, we have a billet valve cover. We have the PVL coil and PVL flywheel. We have the three inch uh, billet piston. We have the ARC billet rod. Um, we have the PK RPM3 camshaft with the uh, crank. We have all that clearance in the bottom end. Uh, we got uh, chrome Oli push rods. We got a big valve head. Um, this head actually has mold star seats and titanium valves. Uh, set them up with some custom springs. Uh, gauge black venom roller rockers, ratio rockers, 1.35 to 1 ratio rockers. Uh, we actually took and put a MSD boot on the PVL coil. Uh, ran a nice uh, ground strap. Um... I just like using those ground straps because uh, they kind of just have this real powerful look. Uh, so, um, you know, that, that cable is massive, so it just kind of commands power. Uh, we went with the uh, billet valve cover uh, with the black anodized. In this uh, case, we uh, added the top plate, the, the new top plates that we have on the site. Um, these ones are different than the old top plates. They have the cutout for the little boss that sticks up on the top of the engine. So they sit down flush. They do come with the mounting screws. And they take um, and you're able to mount the uh, fuel pump to these style top plates. These are now available on the site. Um, he had purchased the other one. I just swapped it out for this one. Um, they originally purchased the black plastic pump. I swapped it out for the aluminum pump. Uh, the black plastic ones, just when the engines get hot, they can kind of distort a little bit and lose their seal. The aluminum doesn't distort, so we have the, these on the site as well. We also list those as, uh, you know, good, better, and uh, and then we have a, a big, huge one for the big block that we list as best. But this is a, definitely a better choice than the black plastic. Um, he actually uh, didn't purchase this as a crate engine. He purchased a bottom end, uh, a head, separate uh, Trinity package, so um, methanol carb. We uh, actually did uh, the gray charcoal gray to match the block. We actually did this block in the charcoal color as well. Uh, methanol carb. This one does have the third circuit billet adjustable fuel valve, velocity stack, methanol carb. Really nice piece. Um, he did grab a couple headers, um, so. We uh, got that here. He, he did actually grab two headers. These are uh, my favorite style header. Um, the uh, kind of candy cane looking header. Um, they actually affix and kind of point downward angle for carting. It's pretty much the best header you can get. Um, and plus, if someone rear ends the back of your cart, it doesn't impale them with the uh, end of the uh, header. He actually grabbed some... Uh, uh, muffler wrap and a bunch of other stuff some PCV valves. He can't run a welded intake tube in his class So uh, he did purchase the Trinity set which comes with that. So instead I oh this heads actually max ported as well And then I just uh, I threw him in one of these uh, one of the better um, Bolt-on intake manifolds one of the uh, $50 ones actually threw him in some max porting uh, he actually uh, forgot to get the push rod, so I threw him in some free push rods. He got a couple PCV valves. I'll let him run all that. I threw him in a, a you know, uh, some some custom work. Just you know, he's a good shit. He's got the uh, carb connector. This uh, carb connector kit is what connects the carb uh, to the manifold. 
couple holes clamps comes with a molded plastic thing has pulse carts on it and stuff like that it's a pretty cool piece but um the uh, copper exhaust gasket the round hex socket uh, exhaust bolts i actually clearance this gasket for them a lot of people forget to clearance that and they just kind of bolt it on so uh usually the copper gasket will hang down a little bit and you'll feel like if you're coming out with the port you'll feel the edge of the gasket that's that's not what you want to feel you you don't want to feel the gasket you want this to be a smooth transition right out um, if you do feel that gasket that means that the air is going to hit that like a ridge and have to go over a ridge every time. So that's going to really impede flow. Um, we did get the new stickers in. The, the new uh, Pulse Carts logo, the official logo. Um, we do have the, uh, we still have the, uh, you know, our, our name brand type sticker like uh, this. Um, but these are an actual logo. He actually did get a... Uh, shroud or a chain guard as well um so that's actually uh another thing he had purchased and uh you know he had got some of this black um a couple feet of the black uh you know vent tube so uh you know what i always like to do with the vent tube is when you cut it um it kind of leaves some uh, gnarly ends so um, I, I used to use, uh, you know, some type of heat shrink, but now that we got this printed heat shrink, uh, it actually looks really good on the ends of that. I really like how that came out. And, uh, it looks pretty nice. I, I, I just run, this is not proper venting. Um, so, uh, you know, I just run these just because, um, but you, this one here could be fine. This one here, pretty much you could cut in half or cut down here. And then uh, just install like a PCV valve to a breather filter. And then this other half you would kind of turn and it would go this way and kind of go into like a puke tank. So on this half of this one, venting the block out to the puke tank, you would have a PCV valve. And then this one leaving the head that's cut in half uh, would just have a PCV valve to uh, a breather filter. So you would uh, connect the block to head in one side cover to puke tank on the other and then side cover to breather filter side cover to breather filter would have a pcv valve and block to puke tank would have a pcv valve so that's i get asked that a lot i don't understand really why that seems to be confusing but um any line leaving the block or the head that doesn't just connect block to head any line actually leaving block or head um, you need to put a PCV valve in. So uh, if you have uh, a block going to a bre uh, your head going to a breather filter, PCV valve. If you have one leaving the, the bottom end going to a puke tank, PCV valve. So two PCV valves um, is what you would need for any engine proper setup. We do have the, uh, what is it, the uh, E3 spark plug in. Uh, we do use a uh, spark plug, I don't know, uh, spacer um, to uh, properly um, position the electrode. Whenever you guys are putting in spark plugs, make sure that you're um, clocking them so that the electrode is basically facing uh, a little bit pointed towards the exhaust valve. So before I usually put a spark plug in, I'll hold it and I'll take like a paint marker and draw a stripe up the side of it in line with the electrode. Then I'll thread that into the block and just see, it usually comes up on, you know, you'll see that line on this side, which is pointing away from everything, which is horrible. So I have uh, on the site a bunch of different uh, spark plug shims, usually a hundred thousand shim uh, works and clocks it right. Uh, that's when I'm using the E3 spark plugs. Other spark plugs have different threading, different positioning, but always just mark your spark plug with a line where the electrode is pointing. And then uh, when you install that plug, just make sure it's pointing towards your exhaust valve. You kind of want that to be pointing down and back towards this area here. Um, dress it up with a couple PK stickers. Um, we actually had a problem with this uh, billet flywheel it's for uh, a non-predator 
uh, non-hemi crank and um, went and put the fly the PVL flywheel on and tightened the nut and thought everything was good when I was just taking it up to do this video I noticed it had a little bit of a shake to it and I said that's odd it torqued on and fine and then under closer inspection I noticed that it actually uh, sat on a little bit too far almost like the CNC machine um, that they did it um, opened up the taper a little bit too much and it sat too far on the crank so the nut actually bottomed out and at the I kind of thought I know there's a difference between hemi and non hemi maybe it's a hemi uh, flywheel I'm putting on so kind of started checking the part number and because I took it out of a box labeled you know non hemi PVL flywheel so uh, started checking all that stuff and everything checked out so it's it's literally just uh, probably the machine open it up a few thou too much where the flywheel can just sit on too much and the nut actually bottomed out against the crank itself instead of actually drawing it in and bottoming out against the flywheel and tightening on the taper it actually the the taper was too large where it just sat too far on the crankshaft and the nut couldn't get it tight easy fix I'm just gonna send the engine as is and just when we actually have a bunch on order so when that flywheel comes in uh, a replacement for this flywheel we'll just send that out I'm kind of kicking myself because a customer had just bought two of those um, and I had just boxed them and just shipped them out the day before I did this I usually keep a few of them in stock parts have been selling like crazy and some parts are very hard to get in uh, so just maintaining and keeping parts in stock is hard these days a lot of companies will have stuff and then it'll go out of you know the billet cranks have been gone for a while valves are hard to get right now um, and there's just even some of the PVL uh, flywheels uh, hemi side covers were kind of hard to get for a second but some of the stuff is coming back but I just wanted to make this quick video uh, I really like the way this engine looks uh, with the with the with the charcoal block and with the black and just the way it plays against everything so I hope you guys like this engine this is a three inch uh, titanium valve mold star seat monster um, so Chester this is for you Mr. Pullman uh, if you guys want to get something like this for yourself you could check out the website the website's paulscarts.com the website paulscarts.com if you guys want to try to contact us, uh, you can contact us through email. Uh, the email address is paulscarts at gmail.com. Again, the website is paulscarts at gmail.com. Uh, if you guys want to uh, contact us through the site, there's actually a through site contact. There's a contact us button. Uh, after you guys uh, purchase something, a head or something like that, if you guys want to send uh, the bottom end specs so it's built to the math, you can uh, click on that contact us button and send us a, uh, it's basically a through site email, contact us button. Uh, if you guys need to uh, text or call, preferably text, text or call number is 781-492-7358. Again, text or call 781-492-7358. So I'm Paul, this is Paul's Carts, this is the 3-inch uh, bore, uh, big boy. So uh, if you guys need anything, uh, check out the site. And until next time, guys, have a nice day.